everyone this is Sangeeta Pag again and today I'm going to be making blueberry pretzel delight uh, what it is is um, uh, it has a pretzel base uh, the, the salt in the pretzel really brings out the sweetness of the custard uh, which is going to be the middle layer and then uh, I'm going to top it with uh, some homemade uh, blueberry compote for that I have um, about two cups of uh, blueberries and I've put about one tablespoon of water. I'm going to turn on the stove here. I'm going to cook it down and once it's cooked down, I'm going to be adding uh, about uh, four tablespoons of confectioner's sugar. Uh, so confectioner's sugar is nothing but a powdered sugar with some cornstarch in it. And if you do not have confectioner's sugar, you could add gra granulated sugar and just uh, make a little slurry of uh, uh, cornstarch with water um, about half uh, half a tablespoon of cornstarch with um, two tablespoons of water and you can add it in to thicken the blueberries and um, here I have about uh, uh, half a cup of butter or one stick of butter and I've melted it and I'm going to be making it in this dish uh, you could use a 13 by 9 uh, dish just use an old proof dish and I have about uh, uh, a cup and a half of uh, pretzels and I'm going to be uh, actually just crushing it with a rolling pin just like that and to this I'll be adding about a quarter cup of sugar and that will be my base and I'll be baking it um, at 350 for uh, about eight eight to ten minutes so eight minutes uh, start checking at eight minutes and uh, yeah don't go over ten minutes um, crush the pretzels you could do it uh, in the food processor as well but I just put it in a zippy bag and I'm going to be adding about quarter cup of granulated sugar to this jumping it and this just push it in like that so no need to grease the pan or anything and I'm going to be baking this um, in the oven at 350 for about eight minutes so I'm going to be adding four heaped tablespoons of powdered sugar you could add more or less depending on your um, how sweet you like your uh, topping. We like our sweets really sweet. So I'm going to be adding four tablespoons, four heaped tablespoons. This is close to about half a cup of uh, powdered sugar. Give it a quick stir. And let it hang out there for about uh, a minute or so uh, till it thickens basically it has to thicken that's what it looks so like. I've taken the uh, the pretzels out of the oven the, that's the pretzel uh, butter and uh, sugar uh, mixture out of the oven and it has to uh, set for about uh, 10 minutes uh, basically you just leave it uh, on the countertop for about 10 minutes till you prepare your uh, custard filling and the blueberry uh, the blueberries uh, compote has uh, actually uh, thickened quite well I'm going to turn off the stove and um, this has to cool down completely it has to come down to room temperature and only then we'll be able to uh, top it so next uh, we're going to be doing the um, custard layer or the pudding layer for that I have about uh, three quarter cup of um, heavy whipping cream and I have about two tablespoons of uh, confectioner sugar I'm going to be whipping, whipping it till uh, I get stiff peaks so uh, the cream has been whipped to stiff peaks alternatively you could use a uh, cool whip you can use the whole tub cool whip we do not use because um, it's really not uh, good to eat and I have here um, uh, one uh, pouch of the vanilla pudding the instant vanilla pudding I'm going to dump it here and I'm going to be adding the 14 ounce uh, can of condensed milk I'm going to 
quickly whip this up as well for about 30 seconds so or so. So this is all whipped together. And I'm going to be storing this in the fridge for about uh, five to seven minutes till the pudding actually sets. So I've taken it out of the fridge after about five minutes. Just going to be dumping it here. a lot in and then spread it evenly so just spread it along make a nice even layer there <clears throat> uh, you could also um, make a custard make really really thick custard uh, and uh, cool it completely in the fridge wait for it to thicken and then <clears throat> use it so at this point we're going to refrigerate this for about an hour or so till the pudding uh, sets before we add our uh, blueberry topping so i've taken out uh, the, uh, the the pretzel and the custard mixture out of the fridge after an hour and as you can see the blueberry compote has thickened really well i'm just going to add a tad bit of lemon juice just a little dash just for freshness it smells really good I'm going to be topping this here and you could do this a, a day in advance also so it, it stays pretty good in the fridge so it, and it's a really nice alternative to cheesecake So um, nicely spread it. Um, so um, the alternate toppings that you could use are, are like you can use a raspberry compote, you could use a blackberry compote, or um, you could use a cherry compote. And these um, um, they'll be uh, available as pie fillings um, in their in their grocery stores so you could use that too but i just prefer to make my own um especially in the summer when like the berries are um, at their peak we just do this pretty often and uh, what i do is i just make the topping uh and uh, just store it in my freezer and i make individual servings i make about four or five you go picking and i make four or five of this and just their topping just their comfort that is there's the blueberry comfort and um I just uh, store it in the freezer and I just use it whenever I want. Thanks once again for watching the making of Blueberry Pretzel Delight. Please like, subscribe and share and thank you.